where you join in with me. Remember, there's two ways you can join in. The first one is you do the same challenge as me. Um, you will see which ones I've worked on this week. And uh, the second way to join in is to wait till the very end of the video where I give you four choices of which page I, I should be working on next. So come and join me and let's wreck this journal together. built it <laughs> dear la 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 whoopsie daisy well that sure choice sort that challenge out didn't it <laughs> I think that's quite a few pages covered in tea hmm. let's see what happens to that da -da -da -da. Trying to let it dry now so the pages don't stick together. So this kind of didn't work out the way I wanted to. It's got a nice texture to it but I kind of imagine lots of lovely brown stains which basically aren't there. So I've decided to be inspired by this coffee page and, I, and the fact that I wanted to see lots of circles and you know what? I'm going to create one of my own circle pages. So I've got a black pen and my cup of coffee and I'm just going to create my own uh, circles and then I'm going to decorate them in my own way. I don't know if you remember doing this, you know when you have the colours overlapping and, um, well you'll see in a minute what I mean. Look at that, do you remember this? Where you do lots of those all over the page and then you can decorate inside. So let's get on and do that instead. Because that is what the Rectus Journal is about. It's about having a go at the instructions and just seeing where they take you. And when I started off with this page, I totally did not think that this is what I was going to do. I'm going to do this one and I'm going to try and do it completely differently. Let me have a think. Okay, let's have a go with paints. Now I've got these um, Gorsh paint set. I think that's how you pronounce it, I'm not sure. Don't use it very often, so I thought I would use it today. I think they're a bit like uh, watercolours, so you kind of use them in the same sort of way, but they come out of a tube. Um, so I'm just going to have a go with those and see where it takes me.
there we go we're finished really quite pleased with that don't you think cool anyway let's get to the next page so it's time to what did you choose what did you choose float this page let's find it and I thought I was going to cut out the page let's see maybe I'll scratch it out because I'm going to glue it put it back in later so I just want to get that page out so I'm going to rip yes I'm going to take it and turn it into a paper boat now I'm going to do this on speed but if you uh, want to see the slow version, you can watch the video up here in the iCards and down below. I'm going to turn it into a paper boat. <laughs> right, here's my paper boat. But I've got the writing on the inside. I want the writing on the outside. So I'm going to do it all over again. <laughs> Ah, there we go. Much better. I like it this way. Okay, we have our little boat. Isn't it cute? Now it's time to float it. Now for that, I thought I'd take um, a little bit of these uh, gauche paints. Again, I don't know if I pronounce it correctly. I basically want to have blue water. And these are the only pins I could find at the moment that would work. So you see what uh, colours you've got at home. If you've got liquid watercolours, that'd be amazing. Um, anything where you can basically dissolve the colour into the water. And it's time to float this boat. I'm going to let the water basically soak up and see what pattern it creates. Okay, so I think we can start seeing it soaking up some of the colour. Can you see it coming up already? Let me bring the camera down and we'll look at it, try and look at it from the side. Let's see. Can we see a bit more what's going on? Is it bringing, can you see the colour being soaked up? So I'm quite excited. So we're just going to leave that now and then we're going to come back to it and we'll see what our final boat looks like. Okay, whilst that is floating, um, I don't want to disappoint those of you that said, but what about floating the actual page? I'm gonna take the page parallel to the float page, and I'm also gonna cut that out. I do hope you can hear me over the rain today. It's a very appropriate that it's a wet and rainy day that they would do a page about water. I'm going to soak it. We're going to stick these all in afterwards again. So here's my uh, a bowl. Well, it's not a bowl, it's a plate. So, you know, it's not quite floating it, but, you know, it's the same same idea. I could just float it on a nice piece of, in a nice bowl, but it doesn't fit on the camera. So I'm just going to do it here. I'm going to get the paper all wet. As if it's been floated, I think that counts. Move it over. And this time I'm going to put it here. I mean, you could do this whilst this is in the water, but I think it's quite tricky. I'm going to take my paints again. Now, you can use watercolours for this or anything you've got at home. Um, and I'm going to add some detail to my very wet page. Float it one more time. What do you reckon? Should I float it one more time? Make sure it's really wet. I'm going to float it one more time. Colours are going to mix up. It's okay. Give it one nice watery float. There we go. Drip it off. Put it down. And then we're going to let it dry and come back to it when it's fully dry. There we go. And then I'm just going to add just one layer of paint to the bottom and just see if it takes, if it feeds up, just to kind of give a bit more contrast. There we go. I'm going to let that dry now. See if it runs up a bit more. And I'm going to do the same on the inside at the top, just to give it a bit more colour and contrast. 
it's dry i love the little boat isn't it cute and our picture now this is final finishing touches you can get a black pen i'm not sure which one will work so well but we'll see and now we just have to add a few little outlines kind of to give your your drawings some definition <music> watery under the water sea now the final finishing touch i was going to put some little uh, white details but actually i'm not going to bother after all i'm just going to glue this on as my floating boat and then we're going to tape it actually i'm going to tape it into the book first and then glue it on just so i've got a bit more space okay and now i want to glue my boat I'm actually very tempted to give my boat a little sail, but you know what, I'm just going to leave it there because it's one of those things where you could just keep adding and adding and adding. And there you have my finished float this page. Now, um, I've got to wear my ring today, <laughs> got it back on again. Uh, let's see what we're going to do next week. Now, last week, a lot of you did vote for the uh, Use Unusual Utensils page. So I'm going to put that one up for grabs again. Where is it? Uh, anyway, the Unusual Utensils is number one, Unusual Utensils. Uh, the next one is, let's open it. Ta -da -da. It says, hang this journal in a public place and invite people to draw. So that's number two. Number three is make a funnel and drink some water. Okay, another wet one. And number four. Oh, maybe just turn it around a few times. Number four is write and draw with your left hand. So I guess if you're right-handed, you draw with your left. If you're left-handed, you will draw with your right. So which one would you like to see next week? There's an eye poll at the top, so you can leave a poll there. Also do leave a comment down below because I love seeing your comments and your suggestions. Um, and yes, let's find out what we get up to next week. In the meantime, don't forget to keep watching, keep creating, join in, uh, you know, and all that kind of stuff. And of course, we'd love to see you here again soon. Take care, bye.